Yo, what's going on YouTubers, gamers and fellow hobbyists and it's time for another episode of On The Bench with Pete and today I am working on... Da, 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 da. I actually started the video yesterday but because there was too many stop starts, stop starts I decided what the heck, I'll, I'll start again tomorrow so I'm still not on top form yet, like, uh, I'm feeling a bit not that great but uh, you know, well enough hopefully we can do this um, Let's go cameras down. Right. So you can see there, hopefully, what we're up to. Now, I've, it seemed I'd best do the cockpit first. So I was kind of building the guy and painting the guy. So I've got to do that first and foremost, I think. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, so yeah, I've got a little bit of a wash to put on the um, the backdrop behind here, but uh, other than that, we'll just get going, shall we? The sprues that came with it are not that bad, there's only a couple. Shouldn't take long to do this. Um, there's obviously I've got painting materials out here as well, because yesterday I was painting. Um, this is where I'm at so far, the main bit. I'm going to landing gear down there. On this one. Right, so let's just move some stuff to one side. Get myself a like a brush. Get myself set up. And just whack that wash on. Because this non oil's gone. It's all gone. Another one back to the dust. Da, da, da. Okay, so I'm gonna oh, yeah. let's zoom in a bit here, shall we? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna score the contact point where I'm going to be gluing. Hopefully gluing. Hopefully you can. So that's also what I'm doing. With my hobby knife, just doing a crisscross pattern of scores on the plastic which I've scraped off. He's, I mean, he's super glued into the cockpit. But this one, I want plastic glue on. So I'm going to get a blob of plastic glue. And sit my man in. And then hopefully we'll be good to go. So, what to talk about? Well, I thought I thought the firewalk could be a good starting point because I mean that was just that was totally awesome to watch, really was, and uh, yeah, something else, man. And the safety talk beforehand was um, making me more nervous than, you know, and I wasn't even doing it, you know. <laughs> but she did it. This is Mini Waza, and she did the firewalk. She said she would. It's for a good cause. Twelve's company, charity that supports victims of sexual assault. And that's not the sort of topic most people like to talk about they just they kind of they'd rather not talk about it or not mention it and it gets overlooked I think um, certainly of the two charities that were there that was the poorer one the other one was the stroke association and they were kind of giving their um, participants t-shirts and that kind of thing um, whereas the 12's company um, 
all they had was a, the shared sashes, you know, and it's a, it's a big difference. Right, so I need to wait for him to dry a bit. Got these bits here. Once I get going, I'll be okay. Then I'll need to mask off the cockpit area when I do the airbrushing. This has got to go on there somehow. Right, so. So that goes on there. So that will be. I just see that there. Right, okay. So I'm just looking at it. So I'm going to. Take that down to plastic again, and I can score that up a bit because otherwise it's just paint on glue and it won't stick very well. And then it will fall off um, at a later date in the cockpit, and then I won't be very happy. I will not be a happy bunny. So yeah, and this one is all uh, exposed to. So you can't see that there. That's all, all I'm doing is just taking it down to plastic again. So yeah, so that goes there. Normally, I am um, normally I drop bits like that when it happens. But uh, yeah. So anyway, the firewall. I mean, I, as far as I was concerned, that was a huge success. Um, you know, it's very good. It was a great safety talk before. I mean, not that it inspired me to want to do it, but um, it's very professionally done, you know. Um, they do take the utmost care. So that was good. Nice to know that, uh, you know, not just throwing you in at the deep end, so to speak. But well, let's just get some. Or try. Get some glue on here. Trouble with plastic glue on these nozzle ends, it locks up quite easily. It's usually not too bad to get going again. Okay. Just hold that in place. So yeah, the firework was good. Um, we seem to be getting a bit further with our um, flights for our holiday, thankfully. So at the moment it looks like we may be going to Orlando, which is good. Later on in the year, of course. Uh, there he is. So yeah. So that'll be nice if we can do that. Get some video footage of that and some pictures, of course. Wondering whether to do one of my PQs out there or no. Hmm. Just gonna have a jockey bar. Not advertising it. Don't get into any trouble. Copyright, because there's a thing I want to talk about. Hmm. Got flagged up the video I made of the firewalk. Copyrighted. Because it's playing hot stuff in the background and stuff like that. I can really. <coughs> <coughs> That's, you know. Beyond my control. 
and they're telling me I'm breaking copyright. So it's, it's you know it's in a public place. And I I have literally no control over it. Does that mean if I'm I oh know filming the birds or some dogs down the park? Someone goes by on some roller skates with a getter blaster playing a, a Queen song, for instance. Am I breaking copyright again? If I post that out, oh, I can't help it. Can't help it, that's what they're doing. I mean, you know, that's. Like I say, it's totally beyond my control. Put some uh, bright colours on for lights, you know. So. Just so it kind of looks. Good. Not you'll probably never ever ever see this, but um, I know it's there. You see, Just put in um oh, I've got a shake. White, yellow and green. Game colour. Just to add some interest really. And once this is done, I can um, get on with the rest of the build. type things here yeah I think that'll do. I think it needs to be overboard on a cockpit because you won't see it anyway, really, like that. Not really. Just uh, get that done. So, I hope you are all doing well there in YouTube land. I hope your health's all good. Like I say, I'm not feeling that great at the moment, but starting to get better, I think. Hopefully. I just need to wait for that to dry a bit more. Yeah, I just need to wait for it to dry. Ah. So he's got one arm. That's what I can do is... Uh, get the uh, paint off for the contact points for the glue sorry that's what I'm doing here on his, on his arm there so just 
doing that. I gently gently take the paint off where his arm goes. Should be okay, it shouldn't fall off, hopefully. Because I've done this sort of thing before and it does just fall off, but there we go. Oh, the more stupid I will look then. Right. Well, it's the 1st of March. So it's the start of the um, Eric Beer's terrain competition thing. I must uh, crack on with that later. I've got a rough idea what I want to do. We'll see. Terrain is not my forte, as I've said many times before, but um, I'll have a go. But uh, I won't be producing anything fantastic, I don't suppose. But don't get any better if you don't do it right. So it's good to push yourself, I think. But just so you all know, it's really not my comfort zone. Right, so that's one side done. Let's try and scrape the other side now. Is it going alright actually? Not bad at all. If you can hear that noise in the background, it's my fridge. It's just my fridge. My heating's on, which is good. Right. So there we go. Okay, so let's see how this goes on then. Time for the arm. Then, when it's dry, I'll have to scrape off his uh, where his shoulder pad's gonna go. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, dude. Something on the handle, but that's looking all right. That looks okay to me. Scrape the rest of this paint here on his other arm. And when that's on and dried, it's just his shoulder pads then, which I have here. Ready to go on. Okay. So <laughs> this is why I like plastic glue because you can wiggle it around and do all sorts of maneuvers that you need to it's even the torso is not uh, dry yet but that's good 
yeah I like that so that is not bad quite pleased with that pose looks good they did a good job on that one okay um, I'm just going to get some black paint be right back I uh, bet you didn't even miss me just got some black just for the handles of what he's uh, oops lifting there I say oops because I squirted out a bit much on the palette oh well right I'll try and do is just the handles of what he's holding there. Sorry if you can't see him, hands in the way. It's difficult to try and do these things. I know this isn't a painting tutorial, but sometimes it's just nice to see, isn't it? You know what they're doing there. Same on this one here. Just to make it look like he's holding something so you can see it doesn't need the detail. Just need to see that he's holding something like a joystick or something of that nature. Something of that ilk. Just try to get to the nook and cranny there. Yeah, I probably should have done this before putting the arm on, but whatever. Whatever, guys. So we're looking for the um, to put the shoulder pad on. So that. Uh -huh. He's a tech marine, isn't he? The one that's driving piloting this. No, you look a bit like a blood angel at the moment, but uh yeah. So uh, yeah, it's 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 difficult because I wanna get on with putting him together so I can get on with the rest of the build. That said, I can probably find the other bits I need to clip off the sprue. So that's what I'll do. So what else have I got to talk about then? The new Death Watch game, which is obviously out now. The rumours were true, as I thought they probably would be. Um, yeah, it looks alright. Will I be getting it though? No. Guess not. Just can't afford it all. I'm going to pop you somewhere, dude. Let's pop you over there. Trying to find out what I'm looking for here. So I can clip them off. Um, yes, yeah, because that's uh, what made me forward next, really. But in the meantime, I can get on with the assault cannon assembly. Um, just trying to find the bits. Number six, number five. Or number five and number six. those two there. Right, okay. Let's clip these off then. So if we can get about an hour done again, you can get another an hour done of building or painting or whatever else it is you're doing. Just sitting and chilling. Sometimes I just sit and chill and watch videos because I, I don't feel well enough to do anything myself and those are the those are my go-to videos paint along ones you know so uh, a 
lot of the time I watch them um, I'm not actually building I do I do whenever I can but there are times when I just uh, I don't have the energy <laughs> to build all right well what ooh, what assembly have we got here now oh. stop yawning stop yawning right 12 11 and 12 9 and 10 yeah get that mm hmm Assault cannon. I don't know how good these are. So I don't. Game wise, I don't see them a lot in in battle reports. But um, I, mean, I wish people would include them because they they look fun, you know. I don't know what the deal is. They're either not very good or they're too good. I don't know. I haven't looked at the stats. Right, seventy one. Oh, number eight. Yes, number seven. Sorry, uh, yeah. I talk out loud my thoughts, although I'm talking to you guys now. But I tend to think out loud when I'm doing this kind of thing, whether I'm making a video or not. Especially, when it's like the number sprue part I'm looking for. It's like, ah, number 24. There was no help for that. There you go. Sometimes it's difficult to get to the bits. Well, I've done that one. That. Oh, I'm looking for number 71 on the sprue. 71. Bet your bottom dollar it'll be on the other sprue. Which is pretty irritating. 71. It's just a. Oh, there we go. I told you. Just a square plate. All stuff I can be cleaning up anyway. And 73 and 72. Or 72 and 73, whatever. Or 73 and 72. Alright. Alright. Got to the stage now where a lot of the time I don't look at the numbers. Just look with a bit. But in this instance, it's not a model I've done before. So I think I've got to. Right, so I think. I think that's all I need. My clean up time. We'll start with my fingers, so I've just dipped into the paint pot, shall we? Or the paint palette. That's a good start. Right, yeah. Got it on the file as well, yeah. Sip of tea before you go crazy. Hmm. Ah, so, there we go. Another bit of this chocolate bar. I can't advertise. So, my friend Ralph did a, a cracking video on the whole copyright thing, YouTube and that. And as as his video pointed out, 
there's just too many grey areas with it. I mean, so what they're saying is I shouldn't be playing a video that's got music on in the background. Um, because it's not my song or whatever. Yeah, I have no control over that. Um, then there's that thing, isn't there? Where companies like Games Workshop say you can't use our pictures to advertise your store or whatever. Yeah, it's advertising them as well, I don't, which I don't understand. But where is that going to end then? Are we not allowed to wear clothes in video because we're advertising the, the brand of clothes that we're, we're wearing? Where's it going to end? That's just crazy. You know, I think it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. You know. And the number of times I had to upload uh, two different versions of um, the Firewalk. Um, We've settled on one and that seems to be sticking, which is good. Because really it's 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 a it's a public event for charity, right? And I'm making nothing off of it. I'm not it's not monetized. Yeah, you get adverts on it, but not through my request. That's what that's what YouTube have done. I requested no monetization. I even, you know, early times I said, I suggested to YouTube to age restrict it in case there were people swearing in the background or whatever, because you can never tell on these public event videos if someone swears in the background. You know, I don't want that on my channel. And, um, yeah, because I like to have a family friendly channel. That's just the ethos I want to promote for Mini Warzone. And yeah, so I tried to do everything by the book. And um, no, I flagged up for copyright, they didn't like that. And they're saying, do I want to dispute this? Well. It's tempting, I'll be honest. But I didn't want the risk of that particular video coming down. I really want that one up because I think it's important. It's important to bring awareness to stuff like that. It's uh, just what, you know, I, my belief. And uh, yeah, I couldn't get over it though. Yeah, if I was trying to make money off the back of it, <laughs> you know, doing unscrupulous behaviour like that, you know, then then yeah but as it stands I don't get it I just don't get it but there you go hopefully one day the law in this regard will become more clear but it seems pretty bad at the moment terrible I just wonder where it's all going to end, you know? Well, like with a lot of things, I guess. But, uh, I did suggest perhaps Vince Venturella could do it as a topic of the week because it's a very interesting topic. One which I think would make a great discussion. I mean, there are some videos that blatantly break copyright procedure and protocol. Blatantly. Doesn't bother me. It's, it's just, you know, how, how do they do it? And I can't. Or do they know that I don't? Makes me wonder. Anyway, you're doom and gloom. I hope your painting or building is coming on all right. 
weather here is the usual dull overcast rain we ever seem to get these days I swear we've got the weather of Scotland now like Scotland had 10 years ago that's what we seem to have yeah right it's pretty easy to clean up I have to say I'll rub your file over it a couple of times it's done I'm looking forward to doing my war machine army as well our signal army that's going to make it good on the bench at some point right so what have I got here five and six that way I think right two little nodules haha <laughs> there it goes like that okay let's glue that together shall we I did, I don't know if any of you guys remember, I did an airfix kit, oh a long time ago now, Cromwell tank, man the parts on that were small, they were so small, yeah that was uh, a tricky build, probably, That and the end bit of the drop pod, <laughs> that was quite finicky, so I needed help holding the doors. I must get another drop pod sometime. Right, so that's that. Then there's this here. Oh, oh, there you go then. Still got to give this dude a bit more drying time, I think. Yeah, it's nearly there though, it's nearly done. I think there's only one way these can go. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure of it. Looking at the wrong bit there, that's alright. That's alright, it's alright. That goes that way around, does it? So it would seem. Just nice to get all these little finicky bits done. Hey. So we got these these bits here. These can be drying then, you see. That's good. That's good, that's good. 
Um, according to that, that goes on the outside, but why would it do that? Hmm. Why would it do that? Oh, to go up and down. Oh, I see. Yeah. Right. So, I'm blathering on to myself again. Put these guns together. <laughs> It's nice to do a uh, kit that's different to what you've done. I'm looking forward to doing stuff like Necrons and Tau. So I've not done them before. I really want to do Necrons. I'd love to do that. I heard the arms can be a bit finicky, but... Uh, anyway. The other gun now. Eldar. They got some good looking models too, the Eldar. I'm not overly fussed about Dark Eldar because they look a bit too difficult <laughs> to build and paint. Oh, I'll get me wrong, I like a challenge, but uh, I don't have any desires to. Start Dark Elder Army. Just but I wouldn't mind to start up Necrons, they'd be super cool I think. Right then. think these guns go on this little plate here like so which it seems to so let's put a bit of glue on that then shall we Here. Right, get in there, get in there. Nice. I do not glue the pegs on. No, I won't. this right okay
right. And there we are. So that's like that. And that will eventually go over there. All right. Okay. I'm gonna let this dry a bit. And I'm gonna come back to this guy. Shoulder pads. So I'm just going to take off the paint here so that the glue can adhere to his shoulder. Otherwise, it won't stick very well. Now, I know this from experience. Gonna gently take the paint off there. So we won't see this. Because we get good contact with the plastic glue, it does quite a strong bond, very strong. Which is good. Except when you want to take it apart. I'm not going to want to do that here. It's worth taking the time out <laughs> just to do this. <laughs> right, that seems to be. Scored up enough there, I would say. I would say. Fill in the finer details a bit later on. But yeah. Looking good. So that's one side of that done. I probably will varnish the overall just to protect it. Take my hard work. It's the time factor, really. Wow, looking at the time, where's the time gone, eh? Must be coming up on the hour. This is good. Another on the bench. Quite a chilled, relaxed one. Sorry, I haven't got much to show you with regards to the build. But, uh... But you see what I'm working on here. My guys need a flyer. Don't have one at the moment. My tyranids have. You see. Dude, my tyranids. They got flyers. Um, my poor space marines are kind of stuck on the ground so. there there it is yeah so I'm looking pretty I'm pretty pleased with that so that dry a bit more now this bit here uh, is working out it's going over the top I would imagine yeah yeah 
this will come underneath somewhere I have no doubt no, do not glue that in place see this bit this bit here goes into here there like that I'm presuming Don't know. <laughs> that probably goes underneath there, yeah. Yeah, I see. I see how it works. I see how this works. So, just I'm thinking maybe satin varnish. Don't know. I'm just gonna get one. Satin varnish. I got a, I got a little one I can use. Yes, so satin varnish, it's where it's at. Just offer some protection. Like I say, it doesn't need to be too detailed in here anyway. This is in the cockpit. So you won't see a lot of it. But, I don't know, I'd just like to know that I've done it, you know, really. Not gonna win any golden demons, but he's gonna get on the battlefield. Get on that battle gaming table, and he's gonna kick some ass. This dries nice anyway. This stuff. There we go. Now it's better. Right. So let's go back to here. I'm just looking at previous instructions. Uh, right. Ooh. Right. Now it would seem this goes on here, like so. Well, we can do that. We can definitely do that, chap. Definitely, definitely. Let's pop this glue on here. there it's very cool stuff so he's gonna have his um, thing over there like that eventually you know so you, you won't see an awful lot just enough though you know looking forward to spraying this one up I'm just gonna come out a little bit actually yeah I don't know why I always leave the last mouthful of tea too long. 
Now I'm cold. Cold tea, yeah. Right, so. Looking at the instructions. Right, yeah. So I'm just looking at how this one goes. This one. Okay. I do like these little nozzles on the um, things like you get on the Revel one as well. I first discovered its usefulness on a Rhino. That was my first. Um, First time I thought, yeah, they're pretty cool. all the paint. It's acting like I haven't there. So I don't know what's with that. Just have to hold it like this for a bit. Well, I think I'm coming up on the hour so I think I'm going to call it there. While I'm still holding this in fact. So I'll end it now. Still holding it. Yeah. I ended up taking it off. I'm just, just trying to scrape more paint away that I could see along the back. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hold this for a while, maybe ten minutes or so. But that's my hour. That's on the bench with Pete. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got loads of stuff done. As you can see. Not loads of stuff, but I've got the cockpit done and the salt cannon done. And I shall put them into this later. Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember, all brushes lead to war. Bye for now. <laughs>